If you're working with a supplier to open up plastic injection molding tools, then they might have told you that the T0 or T1 samples will be ready in a week or so. But what does this actually mean? Hey guys, my name is Jared Haw, and in today's video, I will share what T0, T1, and T2 mean in the tooling world, and what these different stages mean. But first, let's make something pretty clear. The T in these terms stands for trial. So T0, T1, and T2 are different trial phases of the molding process. And as you might expect, each trial has a specific goal, such as catching design flaws, improving part quality, or getting it ready for mass production. So now let's start with T0. T0 is the first trial in the plastic injection molding process. T0 is also referred to as the initial or first shot of the mold. So when your supplier says that the T0 samples will be ready next week, it means that the samples of the initial shots from that tool will be ready next week. The primary goal of T0 is to see if the part can be produced. It's a test to run to check the basic functionality of the mold, ensuring that the part can be made without any major issues right from the starts. So what is the supplier trying to accomplish here? Well, they're really looking for a few things. First, they'll check if the material flows properly into the mold and whether there are any problems with the part's shape or structure. They will also assess things like warping, cooling, and if any defects appear that could affect the part's overall functionality. The supplier isn't expecting perfection here, and they're more concerned with the obvious problems with the mold or material choice rather than fine-tuning the design. In short, T0 is for engineers and designers to evaluate the mold and make sure the part can actually be produced with plenty of room for improvements. Now let's move to T1. T1 is the next trial and its purpose is to test those refinements and move closer to a functional production-ready parts. So what is the supplier trying to accomplish in T1? At this stage, it's all about fine tuning. The supplier will be evaluating dimensional, accuracy, material flow, and overall part quality. They'll be checking whether the adjustments made after T0 have actually solved any problems. For example, if the part had warping or sink marks in T0, those should now be improved in T1. At this stage, suppliers are also starting to focus on making the part to the correct tolerances and design specifications. However, T1 samples still might not be perfect. It's common to see slight minor cosmetic defects or variations in measurements that will need further refinements. If the part is meeting most of the functional and cosmetic requirements, then it's a good indication that only minor modifications will be needed when moving to the next stage. So now, Let's move to T2 for any final tweaks, if any are necessary. Now, let's talk about T2, the final step before mass production. By this stage, most of the major issues from T0 and T1 should have been resolved, and the part should be very close to the final form. So what are you trying to accomplish in T2? The primary focus here is consistency and final quality verification. At this stage, the mold should be functioning smoothly, producing parts with minimal defects and meeting all dimensional tolerances. The goal is to ensure that the mold is stable and capable of running under normal production conditions. T2 samples should be production ready and be able to produce consistently at scale to have the green light for mass production. However, if issues still exist, there may be a need for small adjustments leading to another trial like T3. But in most cases, you should be confident to proceed to production after T2. At the end of the day, you should be able to produce a high quality part after T2. Understanding these stages help you work more effectively with your supplier and set the right expectations to avoid any delays in the manufacturing process. If you're working with a new contract manufacturer or planning to move production from, to a new supplier, knowing how these trials work can save you time and ensure a smoother transition. It's important to note that the number of trials you need can depend on the complexity of the parts. 
Simpler designs might need only one or two rounds of trials before they're ready for mass production, while more intricate parts might need more trials. I hope you guys have a better understanding of the differences between T0, T1, and T2. If you have found this helpful, then please like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you guys do have any questions, then please comment below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you everyone for watching.